Hello everyone. I welcome you all uh, into my third lecture. The first lecture was on was on Excel fundamentals where you were introduced about uh, the Excel user interface and uh, common Excel shortcuts. How do you save the document? How do you open an existing document? These were the things that we discussed in the first lecture. In the in the second one, we discussed about cut, copy, paste, format painter, value paste, and how do you transpose the data. If you have not seen yet, please uh, go to my playlist and have a look at it. Okay. Uh, now let's move to the to the next section. As I promised in the second section, I will I will move uh, to the next section of Excel Home tab. We discussed this clipboard. Now we will be discussing this font part. Okay. So uh, let's let's start with uh, with this one. The uh, the style, the font type, like pick a font. For your text, what font style do you want uh, for for your text to be? Like, say for example, I have this name Suraj Kumar, okay, and I just need this font. Like, say for example, Bell MT or um, this one. I don't know the names as well. You can you can click on anyone. Uh, like, say for example, Candera, this one. So whatever style you want, you can select from here. Like, say for example, I'm I'm selecting Arial, right? So when I select the Arial, if it, you simply can see the difference between Calibri and Arial, okay? Calibri, this is Calibri and this is Arial. So you can select the font type from uh, just clicking the drop down over here. Now, you remember I, to, I, I told you uh, something about format painter. Now, what is a format painter? Which copies and pastes the format. So the format of this text is Calibri, right? So I just want this one to be Calibri as well. How do I do that? I just click on format and it's done. So this is where you can uh, select the font type. There are numerous font types Excel will provide you. You can go and have a look at it. Just go and search, okay? Just try and uh, play around. Uh, you'll get to know things, okay? Now, if you can see, this font is of 12, right? And these fonts are of 11, okay? Since it is, uh, this, is this is the first row, uh, this, these are the titles. You can just go and click on 14. Okay. Now you can see the data is not looking pretty nice. Okay. So how do how do I how do I make this presentable? I click over here. You see the plus sign. Just double click. Okay. It expands. So this is how it looks. Fine. So this is. You can increase the font size. Okay. You can increase the font size from this as well, right? Increase font size. The font size is getting increased, decrease font size. So you can use either way, right? I'll use again the format printer, okay. So this, these were about what, form, uh, what font type and what font size you want, whether you want to increase it or not, whether you want to decrease that. So you can use this one, right? Now, there will be cases where you need to uh, change uh, the, the uh, you need to format the text where either you'll have to bold it italics underline you, you can you can do whatever you want how do i do that like say for example I'll, I'll just write something over here say for example i write study box okay and i want this to be bold i simply click on b i want this italics i click on this i want underline i want this i want to remove the underline i again click over here I do not want the italics. I again click on over here and I do not want the bold. I again click on that. And what's the what's the shortcut for this? Control B for bold, control I for italics, control U for underline, right? B say bold, I say italics, U say underline, right? This is pretty easy to remember, right? Now I'll I'll just undo. What what's the shortcut for undo? It's control Z, right? So the undo is done. Clear? So this was this was our uh, underline double underline. Say for example, you want to double underline this. Um, no, uh, like many of us do not even know uh, that Excel Excel does have the double underline section as well. So when you click on this, you get you get you get to see the double underline. Again, I'll under uh, undo this. So this was about how you format the text. Okay. Now let's move on to the next section. Okay. Say for example, this is this is my this is my um, this is my title, right? This is my first row. This is my header, and I want to change the color. I, I don't want blue. I want black. Okay? I can change this. 
uh, you can go to more colors you can go to custom you can click on whatever color you want you can click on okay the colors the colors get changed okay now i have done this okay now if you can see the font color is white and the background color is blue now i want to change the font color so i click on black i'll i'll click on yellow i'll click on whatever color i want okay this is how we change this cool now let's learn something very very interesting okay how do we do this with alt key remember i told you in my first lecture alt key is one of the strongest key in your keyboard when you use excel okay i'll just click on alt right when i click on alt the h is for home i click on h all right now what i want i want i want this serial number to get italic i click on 2 see it got italic right so this is the power of alt key now i want this name shubham chauhan to get bold how do i do that alt h and for bold for bold it is one this is done now i want to change the background color of this how do i do that okay alt h for background color i'll have to press h and then the backgrounds so you just click on any background that you want right i have clicked on this now how do i change the font color of this alt h and for font color you need to click fc at once fc okay now i'll change this change this i change this to yellow this is super easy isn't it okay now the border looks pretty fine okay now say for example i want to edit the border i go to border section no border i don't need any border no i don't need that and there will be times where where i think hey i need a border i i, I only need like thick outside border see thick outside border But, hey i need i need all borders i need all borders how do i do that i go and click on all borders so this is how you change the border now again an interesting thing how do you use the alt alt key for this okay alt see my hands are up h b again the border section whatever border you want you just click on that click on that part you want the bottom border click on o that's done alt h b you want top border click on p alt h you want You, uh, what do you want? Like uh, no borders? Uh, do, 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 no borders? Click on N. The borders are gone. So just play around it. Font, font size, bold, italics, underline, borders. The the background colors, the font color increase and decrease font size. Learn their shortcuts. And this is super easy. So it it was it was nice, right? Again. just moving on to the next section what i'll what what i'll make right the alignment section i'll go on to the alignment section we'll learn about margin center wrap text so tune into my channel and we'll see you in the next video thank you so much and yes please do not forget to subscribe thank you bye bye